today we started a bit late but we're at the thrift store second one that we hit today so far we started at noon we usually start at nine but we'll see how the day goes so hey guys it's mail time <laughs> so i was gonna close i'm probably going to close my p.o box so probably my mailbox is only good for the entire month my birthday is may 2nd so there is time <laughs> This is from, or Janet, the people we love become a part of who we are. Aww. To Ash, aw, that's what Dave used to call me. He's the only person that I loved when he called me Ash and my friends said I didn't like it. <laughs> Thinking of you, hope this cheers you up. Love, Janet, Miss Pouchette Matisse. Oh, she sent this a little while ago, 3-4-2024. And when they leave this world, a part of them stays with us always with love and sympathy. And she got us a McDonald's gift card. Aw, that's so cute. But thank you so much. I appreciate that. Gracias, Janet. Thank you. Do I have to share it with Daniel? <laughs> this one is from... No name. But it's from Point Claire, Quebec. Oh, there's a card. Oh, pineapples. I love pineapples. Ah, oh, it's French... Uh, 20% off coupons. It's, a, it's all in French. Cool. Thank you. Hello, it's me again, Lourdes from Point Claire, Quebec. Love your videos, minus the ones with. <laughs> I'm sending you new coupons you can use. Take care. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. I appreciate it. Appreciation for you. So thank you, Lourdes. Thank you, Janet. And um, thank you for making my day today. I was actually having a shitty day because I, was, I screamed at like three people today. Here is a cute kind of early 2000s Michael Kors. If it wasn't for that stain right there that I know that I can't get out, I probably would have got it. It's a good price, 17 bucks. Let's see what else they have. Oh, the heart, the coach heart uh, bag isn't here anymore. But the lady from yesterday left the other bag. There's Daniel hitting up the rack. It's a new rack? Yeah, it just came out for me. <laughs> I'm like, hold. What if he's in one of those Mesopotamian clay art from the ancient times? And it's worth like a billion dollars. Museum quality pieces. Welcome back to the channel. We went thrifting today with Daniel. It was a pretty good thrift day. Daniel got some amazing things. Two things that popped out that Daniel got were a Dodge Viper leather jacket from the 90s. He paid like 10 bucks for it. So one thing that Daniel got that was super cool was uh, it had like a it had Viper. What number? Two hundred four five eight nine. It had Viper on the back of the jacket, and then like there was like some detail on the arms. Nothing on the front though. So you'll probably sell that for like three hundred dollars, and he paid like eleven dollars for it. So that was a super good deal. And then he picked up these wall sconces that were super, super cool. They're light based though. That's the issue, light bulbs. It's all done with wiring, but somebody will like that. Yeah. Lights though? They're nice. I wish they were almost for candles, but could somebody not convert it into? No, I think it's better that it's lights because someone would want it for their house. They're insane. I've never seen anything like it. Well, I have on mine, but they're... they're like the weight they're so heavy like these ones are sort of cool too they're different they are. 
This one's like a, medieval, maybe? Well, those ones look more middle, me, medieval. Medieval. Those are Victorian? Are Victorian, yeah. base. But then there's probably more names that I'm not. This one's loose, but it needs to be tightened, but it's all done with washers, but. Oh my god, are these cool. Very ornate, like art deco. One of them looked Victorian, the other one looked more. I don't know what word for it is. Um, medieval, maybe? I don't know. But I think you paid like really inexpensive for them because there was a 30% off coupon for hardware and furniture. So he got a good deal on those. But the jacket and the sconces, the wall sconces, uh, were a really good find for him. We were we were like, oh my God, uh, Rhubarb is gonna be so jealous. Are you jealous, Rhubarb? Please let me know in the comments if you're watching. <laughs> I, on the other hand, picked up a few things that I wanna share with you. I had to leave Daniel a few times because I was getting my car estimated. I have like a bunch of hail damage on my car, on the hood, on the roof, on the sides, on the trunk. And the hail damage is $7,800. Can you believe it? I have to pay a $200 deductible though, which is fine, but it'll fix all that stuff up. What we got yesterday, I didn't include it because it was only two things, but so we're just including it in today's haul. I picked up this coach pink uh, tote bag. Very basic, kind of cool, really good condition, I feel like. And it has like a little charm here and the luggage tag. This one was $9. $9 and $2 off coupon makes it $7. So $7 for a coach leather bag. Hello. Hello. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Can you find that anywhere? And the inside is fairly clean, which I like. I don't like coach bags that are dirty inside. They are a bitch and a half to clean. So we got that. And then we got this Kate Spade flap. I tend to stay away from Kate Spade sometimes, but I just... Okay, what was this price? For this price, the discount that we used and uh, the condition and the quality. Okay, what's going on here? Why can't I? Oh, okay, sorry. We're doing something weird here. The leather on this is really nice too, so. Okay. Turn, lock, closure. Very like Chanel-esque vibes. No, ain't nobody paying no freaking $15,000 for Chanel Jumbo. Ain't happening. Not here anyway. Maybe some rich biatches elsewhere. <laughs> but, okay, quilted, uh, quilted Kate Spade bag. This one was $20 minus a 20% off coupon, I believe. And I don't, I like that there's not a lot of scuffing on the front hardware and the inside is fairly clean. Well, really clean actually. And then there's not much like scratching here or on the bag in general. Minor, minor, minor corner wear, but nothing like that can't be moisturized. So for $20, less 20% off, I, I hit it. I hit it before I quit it. And I think the hardware on this is 24 karat or 14 karat gold plated, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, we got those two things yesterday. Yeah, we went yesterday thrifting all day. Well, 12 to 4, 12 to, yeah, 12 to 4, 5 maybe. And the last stop is where we found these bags. But all day, we didn't get anything all day. And then this is the stuff that we got today, which isn't bad, bad, but ain't like the best, best, <laughs> whatever. Okay, where did I put one thing? Is it in here? Oh yeah, it's in here. Daniel recommended this, so if it doesn't work out, Daniel's at fault. He told me to buy this Pokemon Mega Ruby for $15 less, a 20% off coupon and it ended up being like $13. I'm gonna lot it with my 3DS and then raise the price on my 3DS by 30 bucks. So we're gonna do that for that. And then, okay, we got this remote control. People lose their Samsung remote control. And the good thing about Samsung is for the most part, they work for all TVs. So if this, this will work for your TV and then another TV that's not even your TV. So. I bought it for five bucks and then I think it was 30% off. So I'll probably sell this online for like 10, maybe 15. And then I picked up this camera, which is funny because I purchased this camera from a different Salvation Army, the exact same one. And it's a broken, like a mofo. So that was a waste of 16 bucks. This one was 25 bucks. It's a Canon PowerShot S2IS. It has a flip out screen. I'll probably sell this for a hundred dollars. So 
because we paid 25 for this and we paid 16 for the other one we're technically in it for 25 35 42 dollars so if i saw this for 100 i'll make my money back on both for about um wait 42 did i say 42 So I'll make like $48. Maybe I'll include the other camera for parts in case they need it one day. But yeah, it's a cool little camera. A little heavy though. People usually like the, the point and shoots that are slim. But whatever, it'll sell. And then we packed up this. I don't know why I bought it. I just thought it was cool. Like it's very like Clarsonic-y and it's like in great condition too. So we picked up this uh, Clinique uh facial vibrating cleanser machine i feel like i'll just i paid six dollars less uh 30 off so i feel like i'll sell this online for maybe 15 dollars 20 dollars it vibrates cleans your face so anyway <laughs> and then this was kind of cool uh, i haven't seen one of these before in this color but it is a rotary phone for eleven dollars, that's thirty percent off. I've never seen this tuxedo type color rotary phone. Normally, this will be priced at 40, 30, 40 bucks, but because of this unique color, I'm gonna price it at sixty, settle for fifty. So that's kind of cool. Just clean her up, and yeah, that's all that we got today. Simple and free. Well, not free. I paid for everything. Anywho, today was a better day. I felt kind of like excited for summer. The, the weather is warm. I felt a little bit uncomfortable wearing this jacket. It's not the normal weather. It's not the normal black jacket that I normally wear. The normal black jacket I normally wear, that I usually wear. Um, it's the, the other jacket I have cinches it in the waist, so it gives me more of a figure, but this is more like, eh, you know, boxy. So I was a little bit uncomfortable wearing it. Um, I do have to wear it because of the warmer weather because the other one I'm going to melt in. But even this is very warm. So, <laughs> and summer is fast approaching and we're going to have to be jacket free. But what are we going to do? Wear my same jean jacket that we've been wearing for the last freaking two years? Ah, ah, ain't happening. Eating healthier, eating less, walking more. That is the plan for summer because summer is just around the corner. We're on april 5th so um, less than a month to my birthday which is may 2nd and i uh and then like actual summer summer which is june like two months away now we could lose 30 pounds in june losing 30 pounds i'll be happy i'll be a little bit more confident i wouldn't i won't have to be you know so self-conscious and janet i tried to use your gift card your mcdonald's gift card thank you so much uh yesterday but they wouldn't take it because it's a U.S. card, so I can't use it till I go to the U.S., but I really greatly appreciate it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it until Daniel and I go to Minneapolis for a trip to the Goodwill bins, and then we'll use it as, like, a meal for the both of us, you know? Um, I think I'm going to do that from now on. Like, if people send me things, or probably try and, like, because I really want to go to the bins. I really do, the Goodwill bins in Minneapolis. But it's just expensive. It's expensive in terms of food. It's expensive in terms of um hotel so uh, those are the two things that are just kind of preventing us from going because it's just uh, very unaffordable with the economy unfortunately you know and we're gonna have to make it a quick trip so it's going to be like say we leave on a monday we would leave like super early like 2 a.m and then we would arrive there for like opening a uh, value village like 9 or 10 a.m and then we would uh, thrift all day and then the next day we'll thrift all day and then the next day we'll just be back home for evening you know it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're self-employed like Daniel and I, you know, every every dollar counts. Um, every uh, thing is an expense. So, I don't know. I hope that I can we can go this year because we didn't go at all last year. We didn't go to the Goodwill bins once last year. Very, very disappointing. Like, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I really want to make it a goal to go this year. And, yeah. So... Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to the influx of new subscribers. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you to the regular subscribers who have been subscribed for all these years or even just recently. And also the members. I appreciate the members. We'll have to do a video soon, soon for them. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
why is everything so expensive today at the thrift store? There's like a Kodak film camera that I wanted and they wanted 25 bucks for it. Like, fuck that. And then like this they want 35 bucks for. I mean, I don't know. What would I get for this? Like 40? 